few days after the presidential election in Nigeria, some respondents in Benin City have called for peace and calm no matter the outcome of the presidential results. The said post-election violence experienced in the past created problems in the country and advised politicians and supporters of the various political parties to shun violence in the interest of the country. The present situation does not demand for violence because to the very large extent, the election has been seen to be very free. Fair. The loser should accept defeat. The election is already lost and won. You understand? The winner should hit the ground running and solve the problems of our country. The loser, pick up your pieces and go home. That's all I say. Anybody who is fighting or trying to... Uh, conduct himself in a way that will be seen as violence, will be handled by the law. And those who are pursuing the election violence, they should not do so. Whoever wins is our, our president. Uh, they should take it like that. I pray let there be peace in this country. They should show violence and make peace for, with anyone. They said no individual or party interest is greater than the country, just as no candidate of any political party is worth the blood of any Nigerian. One should realize that he should love his life more than any other person. If you love your life, you won't stake your life for evil. Because if you open yourself for evil, you will regret tomorrow. Because the man you, 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 you think you are fighting for is somewhere protected by a human being like yourself, no candidate of any uh, presidency is worth splin uh, splitting a blood for. Because you see, if you go to international airport before the election, you find out that most of these people, they are taking their children outside the country. The president has said that his ambition does not warrant, warrant the blood of any Nigerian. I think that's in, uh, enough for us. The presidential election was held last Saturday. Deborah Ogbefun reporting.